Control charts enable you to distinguish between the two types of variation. Control charts have a central line representing the average value and lines representing upper and lower control limits. When data points fall within these limits, only common cause variation is present and the process can be said to be stable and predictable. Certain patterns of data points give a signal that the variation may be due to an assignable cause and the process is unstable. There are two fundamental rules that signal when variation may be due to an assignable cause. First, when any one point falls outside the upper or lower control limits. This is rule A. Second, when there is a run of eight or more points in a row that fall on one side of the average line. This is rule B. There are two common types of mistakes that are made. First, treating common cause as assignable cause variation. This can lead to making changes that are inappropriate. This is also called tampering with the process. Second, treating assignable cause as common cause variation. Ignoring assignable causes means that you miss a valuable chance to learn about and change something that's causing large deviations from your ideal state. Using the two rules A and B minimizes the chance of making these two types of mistakes. Before you create a control chart, it is recommended that you collect at least 20 data points. Next, you draw the axes and plot the data points. The next step is to calculate the average value and draw this on the chart. Finally, calculate the control limits and add them to the chart. You can now check whether any assignable cause variation is present and if so, whether Rule A or Rule B applies. To monitor the process effectively, you should plot the data in real time. This allows you to immediately spot and investigate any assignable cause variation as it is happening.